Hello everyone at WebsiteCoders.com My name is Daouf and I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple rollover navbar similar to the one on this website right here as you see when you hover your mouse over these uh, different images or links on the website they change to a different image which is a cool uh, it's a cool effect that provides just an, a cool look on the website okay so basically it's javascript but we're going to try to avoid using all the messy javascript code in your header and we're just going to try to do this on the actual link so it's going to be links we start with say a href equals your link and then the most important code, one of the most, is on mouse over, which is a JavaScript code, but we're actually putting it into into uh, HTML right here. And now we're going to go. This is also JavaScript right here. We're going to define a. I don't know. We're going to define this right here, and since it's going to be home, we're going to go document home dot src equals images slash your image dot png and then that's the on mouse over now you have so basically that means that when you hover your mouse over one of the images it will change to that and then you need your your on mouse out code which will be exactly the same, just with it's like it changes to your image hover, and make this one. This needs to stay on home, so it matches up with the other ones. And this will be the same as the image that's in there already. Sorry about that. Hope it doesn't offend you. Okay, and then close that. Let me quickly show you the demo code right here. This the CSS. Okay, right here. This is how you do it. Okay, and then actually, let me go language. This is a good, neat tool here. It's called Notepad++. You can Google it and download it online, and uh, it's a very useful tool. Some of the new people might want to use Dreamweaver. I don't use it anymore. I'm past that stage, but I also recommend using Dreamweaver if you're new. This is a neat tool here. Okay, you go image src. This is gonna be the same as your the one that's in your mouse out. This is the image that's going to be there when you load up the website without doing anything. Your image dot png. Oops. Okay, now we need alt equals home. The old means when you hover over it, I believe that well, this isn't, but usually actually no, uh, I think that's in the href. Okay, anyway, I close it with the an image tag, and then oh, the one thing I'm forgetting too is whenever you have an image that is being hyperlinked, it's always going to create an automatic border, a blue border. That It's not visible on Google Chrome, but on Mozilla Firefox and maybe Internet Explorer, I don't know about Safari, but it shows up as a blue border. So make sure you put as border equals zero. That is the simple code that you need, and there's no messy JavaScript, and you can do that for your, for your website. And now, uh, this is the code for mine. 
and then it has the, the whole entire code, and then there's no, look, there's nothing in the head, no JavaScript there. It's all done in there, it's just not messy at all, and then you don't have to have a complex understanding of JavaScript to be able to do this. So, refresh this and same thing. And then obviously I have to apply it to everyone, but w make sure that when you say you're going to do this for for your forums page, that needs to change to forums. So that's to be different. Oh, my bad. I forgot to put my dots in there. Yeah, make sure all these have the dots in between, otherwise it won't work either. But make sure for each for each thing has a different name. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can private message me on the forums. Thank you.